Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the Think and Learn Challenge, powered by Byju's, the learning app, and brought to you by Lifeboy Active Silver. My name is Neil Bupalam, and I'll be the quiz master for this fantastic Pan GCC initiative that encourages young students to fall in love with learning. Now let's quickly begin with the introductions for this week's teams that have emerged victorious over some of the best brains in the region. Let's start with the introductions. Team 1, please introduce yourself. My name is Adulit Aris of Class 5, Indian School Almobela, Oman. I'm Siddharth Prakashan from Class 10, Indian School Almobela, Oman. Awesome. And now we move on to the next team. Team 2, please introduce yourselves. I'm Balaram Harsha Kalakuri of Class 5, Indian School Alseeb, Oman. I'm Stephanie Maria Sandosh of Class 8, Indian School Alseeb, Oman. Moving on to Team 3, please introduce yourselves. I'm Karthika Vinod of Grade 4, Indian School Algubra. And I'm Sheshta Balkopal of Grade 8, Indian School Algubra. Wow. Moving on to Team 4, Team 4, please introduce yourselves. My name is Akshay Ajit of Grade 4 from the Indian School Dase, Oman. And I'm Pranav Jitesh, Class 7, Indian School Daset, Oman. Moving on, Team 5, please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Sai Krishna of Grade 5 from the Indian School Alwadi Al Kabir, Oman. I'm Anjali Sebastian of Grade 9 from Indian School Wadi Kabir. Moving on to our sixth team. Hi, guys, please introduce yourselves. I'm Joanna Susan Alex from Class 5, representing Indian School Salala, Oman. My name is Mohammed Nihal, Class 8, and I am coming from Indian School Salala, Oman. Round of applause for yourselves. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. These are some of the brightest minds of the region. Renowned chef and author Alice Waters said, The decisions you make are a choice of values that reflect your life. Wow. Simple, yet deep. Now, our teams here will be given seven choices. And I reckon they would certainly value the points up for grabs. In the first round, Atlas, brought to you by Lifeboy Active Silver. To figure out which team goes first, we have a Swift Select question. And now, here's your Swift Select question. This is a fill-in-the-blank question. Your question is, which is the sixth planet from the sun in our solar system? And time's up, guys. We now have the results. Team 1, what is your answer? Saturn. And that is the correct answer. Well done, Team 1. Now, of course, as the rules suggest, you get to pick whichever category you wish from the Atlas round. And your categories are Mathematical Ability, Spatial Reasoning, Rebus, Logical Ability, Science, Memory and Intuition. What is your choice? We choose Logical Reasoning. Logical Reasoning? Yeah. Well done. <laughs> logical Reasoning it is. Now this is a multiple choice question and my question for you is If three machines take three hours to wash three clothes Then how many hours would it take six machines to wash six clothes? Your options are A3, B6, C4.5 or D1.5 and time's up. Now, nobody has got the right answer over here. And the right answer is option A, three hours. Here's the solution. Three machines take three hours to wash three clothes. That's three machines, each with one cloth, taking three hours to wash. Which means one machine takes three hours to wash a cloth. Take six of these at the same time. Six machines will wash one cloth each that is, six clothes in the same three hours. And because none of you got the right answer, I get to decide what is the next question and the next category. Wow, I really like my job, guys. Next category is science. Doo -doo -doo. My favorite subject. <laughs> 
This is a multiple choice question, right? The question is, in which of the following circuits would the remaining four light bulbs continue to operate if light bulb five fails? And that's a really cute battery over there. A, B, C, and D. And that's time, young ladies and gentlemen. And the quickest right answer was given by team two. Yay! Clap, 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 clap. Whoa. <laughs> Very nice. I give you 30 points. Yes? Keep it safe. Now, right behind them on the time zone is team three. You get 20 points. Yay! Clap, 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 clap. And there is one more team, and that is team six, who's got it right, but a little slow. 10 points to you. Congratulations. That's a pretty good start, actually. The correct answer is B. Of course, something like this with this wiring can only happen in a parallel connection as opposed to a series connection. Okay, Smarty Pants Team 2, I'm going to read out the categories that are left and you can decide which one you want to hit, okay? You got, in the Atlas round, you got Mathematical Ability, Spatial Reasoning, Rebus, Memory, and Intuition. We choose Intuition. You choose Intuition. Mm, I like the way they say it also. I choose Intuition. Okay, I'm going to hit that right now. <laughs> And the question for intuition round is a fill in the blank kind of question. And the cue over here is just pay attention because what I'm going to do is show you a series of images. I'm going to show you a few images and then I'm going to ask the question. I'm being extremely mysterious over here. Pay attention. My question is which of these shapes has the maximum area? You have 30 seconds to think, right? Hmm? And punch in an answer. And time is up. Team four? You crafty little guys. You're the fastest on this round. Well done, well done, well done. You get 30 points. How many? 30. 30 points. And the next team is team five with 20 points. Well done, well done. Clap, clap, clap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Who's feeling hungry? Who's feeling hungry? And team two, you get 10 points. Well done. 10 claps. 10 claps. The correct answer is the square. Now we're going to move on, yes? Team 4, you get to decide the next category. What you're left with, Team 5, in the Atlas round is mathematical ability, spatial reasoning, rebus, and memory. Mathematical ability. Mathematical ability, I shall hit that right now, sir. Right now, it's done. And the question is, the sum of the ages of five children born at the intervals of three years each is 50. What is the age of the middle child? Your options are A, 8, B, 10, C, 13, or D, 17. Time's up, time's up, time's up. Of source, no one has got the right answer. What, guys, come on. And the correct answer is B, 10 years old. Don't take the ages as youngest child, youngest child plus three, youngest plus six, and so on. That's a wrong way to calculate. Instead, use the middle child's age. Then the ages of the other children would be middle minus three, middle plus three, middle minus six, and middle plus six. Add this up and it gives 50. Five times middle child age is 50, so the middle child is 10 years old. So we've reached the middle of this round and gonna take a quick break. But be sure to come back for the Think and Learn Challenge powered by Baiju's The Learning App and brought to you by Lifeboy, Active Silver. I'm gonna be right here and so are these guys. What? You're back already? Well, it's nice to see you. Now, before we go forward, we're gonna do a quick look at the scores and up the ante on the competition a bit, all right? And here are the scores. Team one hasn't started yet. Team six, 
10 points. Team three and five are at 20 points. Not bad, not bad. And team four is at 30 points. Well done, round of applause for yourselves. I like these guys are just playing it too cool, too cool. Team two, you at 40. What? Ah! That's more than you guys. I'm good with my maths. Of course, before we went into the break, nobody got the right answer to the question. So, once again, I'm gonna select which category is up next. And I choose Rebus. Rebus is a fill in the blank question. I'm gonna show you an image that's gonna be prompting either a word or a phrase. It's like a visual puzzle, yes? Okay, and the image is coming up in three, two, one. What is the word or phrase that pops up in your head when you see this? And that's time up, guys, time up. Okay, I just wanna say when I landed in Dubai, I hear so many languages that sometimes I'm lost in translation. Uh-oh, I gave away the answer. Okay, now the correct answer was given by Team Six. Well done, congratulations. Clap, 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 clap. Also, you're the only team that got it right. Outstanding, guys, well done. Okay, moving on. You get to choose, right, the next category. And let me remind you what we have left on the Atlas list. We have spatial reasoning and we have memory. Pick one, guys. We choose memory. You choose memory. Do you have a good memory? Yes. This is a fill in the blank kind of question. Yes, yes, ready yourselves for this one. Pay attention to what's gonna pop up on the screen. I'm gonna show you a series of images and then I'm gonna ask you a question right after that. Are you ready for this, right? Focus, focus, focus. Let's have the images up. Now the second half of this question is, I'm gonna show you a slide and you have to tell me which of the animals was not shown in the sequence earlier. And here we go. Is it A, B, C or D? And your time is up. The results have come in, speedy results I say. The fastest team is team three. Team three, well done, clap, clap, clap. Talia, Talia, Talia. Okay, right behind them is team two. Yay! And right after them is team four. So yeah, well done. Since you get 10 points, and now I know why you're not clapping because you're unhappy with 10 points. Is that right? No? Then clap, bro. The correct answer is C. That was the end of the Atlas round. We're gonna take a quick break right now. And once we come back, I'm gonna give you the scores. Be sure to stay tuned to the Think and Learn Challenge powered by Baiju's, the learning app, and brought to you by Lifeboy Active Silver. I'll see you on the other side. Welcome back from that break. Now, before we go into our next round, which is the Hercules round, I am going to give you the scores because while we took a break, I tallied up the scores. Team one hasn't started as yet. Yeah, don't lose heart, all right? Because there's another round to go and you could catch up rapid. And team five is at 20 points. <laughs> team four and team six is at 40. <laughs> team three at 50. And team two is currently leading at 60 points. Well done, well done. We're moving into our next round, that is the Hercules round. 
Your first question is, you better keep your finger on the buzzer, yes? You know where the buzzer is, you know where your finger is. Okay, here we go. A bat and a ball together cost $1.10. If the cost of the bat is $1 more than that of the ball, what is the cost of the ball? <laughs> Team two, you are the fastest one to press the buzzer. 10 cents. 10 cents? Ooh. No, 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 no. That's a little expensive, my friend. <laughs> the correct answer is five cents. The common mistake is answering that the cost of the ball is one dollar ten cents minus one dollar. That is ten cents. Now, if that were the case, the bat would cost a dollar and ten cents, and together they'd cost a dollar and twenty cents which is not true. So let's look at our equations. Bat plus ball equals $1.10. Bat minus ball equals $1. Subtract the two equations and we have two balls costing 10 cents, which means one ball costs 5 cents. Next question, everyone ready? Okay, this is a fill in the blank type of question. Fingers ready, buzzers ready. Your question is, what is the name of the process where a solid material turns directly into a gas without becoming a liquid? Team three. Sublimation. Sublimation is the right answer. Congratulations, clap, of course, clap. The next question, question three for the buzz around. Now Sam drives from point A to point B at 40 miles per hour and returns from point B to point A at 60 miles per hour. What is the average speed of the entire travel? Team two, you hit the buzzer first. What is your answer? 50 miles per hour. That, my friend, is two miles per hour, a little faster than the right answer, which is 48 miles per hour. But good try, pretty close. Moving on to the next question. How many primary colors are there in a rainbow? <laughs> Team four, what is your answer? Seven. Seven primary colors? Yes. No, 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 that's the wrong answer. There are seven colors, aren't there? But primary colors are three. Your next question for the Hercules round is A, B and C are sisters. D is the brother of E and E is the daughter of A. What is the relation between A and D? And I'm going to ask team one. E and D are si brother and sister. Well, my friends, that is incorrect because the proper one is A is the mother of D. Now, here's the solution. D and E are siblings. A is E's mom, so A is D's mom too. That makes D A's son. So there you have it. Okay, moving on to the next question. The day after, day after tomorrow is four days before Monday. What is the day today? Team two, you hit the buzzer. What's your answer? Thursday. Thursday is not the right answer. It is Monday. Four days before Monday is a Thursday. Therefore, the day after day after tomorrow is Thursday. So the day after tomorrow is a Wednesday. Tomorrow is a Tuesday and hence today is a Monday. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is a really tricky buzz around. Now that was the last question of this round. And that means that we've run out of questions and opportunities to gather points. So I'm going to tally up the scores and deliver them to you while you give yourselves a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, come on. Outstanding, outstanding. And the scores are team one is at minus 10 because of your misadventures in the buzz around. Team five, you are at 20 points. Team four and team two are tied at 30 points. Team six, you are at 40 points. And team three is our winner for this episode at 80 points. 
Congratulations to all of you for participating. It was a pleasure to meet each and every one of you. And yay, Team 3. Ooh, there's some prizes coming up. For the third place, we're going to have a tiebreaker question between Team 4 and Team 2. Yes? A man cannot drown in which sea? Dead Sea. <laughs> the Dead Sea? Yeah. Is the correct answer. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Team 4, you are the second runner-up. Please come up and collect your prize. It is a one-year subscription to the Baiju's Learning app. Please hold it, please hold it. Put your fingerprints on it. Smile and wave, smile and wave. Yay! Thank you, thank you. And the first runner-up is Team 6. Wow, congratulations guys. Step up and collect your prize. Now you've won $500. Wow. Wish I could get a cut out of this. Smile and wave. And the winner for this episode is Team 3 with $1,000. Come on up, guys. And of course, they move into the finals, representing Oman. Smile and wave, smile and wave. And for all you quizzing enthusiasts out there, log on to our Facebook page and you could win an exciting gift hamper. And with that, this is Neil Bupalam signing off with a promise to be back next week with another thrilling episode of the Think and Learn Challenge powered by Baiju's The Learning App, brought to you by Lifeboy Active Silver. Good night and see you later, alligator. Thanks, guys.